Hi guys, welcome to a, another beer review. Today we're going over to one of my favourite breweries and we're finally looking at one of my favourite beers. Um, this one that I've drank a fair few times and I've even got to the point where I'm about to do a review of it but I'm like just talking like within the video and then I'm like oh, turn it off. I just end up drinking it because I really like this beer. So going over to Beaver Town. And we are looking at the Gamma Ray, which is an American pale ale, clocking in at 5.4%. Imported here to Germany from Braustun Beer Verlag over in Hamburg. And uh, picked this up from Beretta. So, yeah, a beer that, like I said, drank plenty of times. It's a, it's a classic beer for sure. And, uh, yeah, I thought it's about time that I sit down and get it reviewed and get it uploaded because it's one of those ones that I probably would never do it because I just end up drinking it all the time. So yeah, fantastic Nick Dwyer artwork as always. Great thing about Beef Town is doesn't matter what the name of the beer is, is itself, doesn't matter what the design is, you know it's a Beaver Town beer because of the I'm gonna say it, the iconic artwork from Nick Dwyer. And they just stand out, especially when you've got like that lovely Beaver Town selection in the bottle shops. So, uh, beer's already poured into the glass, but I haven't tasted it yet. And uh, yeah, that just looks absolutely fantastic, doesn't it? It's got these lovely orangey tones in there, lovely gentle, yellowy, almost like lemon curd mixed with a bit of like a, a blood orange jam or something like that. Marmalade, that's what I was looking for. I uh, got a nice amount of haze in there. And, uh, yeah, beautiful looking beer. Nice gentle carbonation. And you can see that when I initially poured it, it was about two to three fingers worth of a fluffy white head. But now it's just a, a, a thin lining on the top of the glass. Beautiful lacing. And I don't know if you'll be able to see it uh, from the quality of the camera, but just that lovely motion of the bubbles going up and down the side of the glass. So uh, yeah, it's definitely um, a, a beautiful looking beer, I'd say. Let's see what we get on the aroma. I can actually swirl my beer properly in this one. It's like a lovely, gentle, hoppy character. It's not punchy, it's not pungent, it's not in your face. But you don't have to really dig in to find it. It's there, and what you get is this lovely medley of... Slightly floral hops, nice juicy fruity hops. You get this lovely sort of dank resiny character in there as well. I can't remember what exactly uh, they've used for the hop build, but I'm guessing something along the lines of like Citra and Cascade. You definitely get like a slight prickly lime character coming from this. And yeah, like round trees fruit pastel, starburst, those like lovely jelly sweets, but it's not like um like a fake smelling beer. And then you get lovely gentle grapefruit tone, a little bit of blood orange, pineapple. It smells lovely, it really, really does. Let's see what it tastes like. Cheers guys. That's, that's it's lovely. It's it's a very solidly crafted, flavoursome American style pale ale. Bitterness is ramped up a bit as what you would ex well that what you would expect from the aroma. But it's not overly bitter. lovely medium mouthfeel to it that carbonation is lovely and prickly almost like a sherbetty sort of sensation on your tongue and it's sort of like almost slightly dry but at the same time it makes your mouth water and you want to go in for another sip yeah lovely gentle fruit characters slight piney edge to it very very slight that resiny sort of character like when you've run your hand through like pine cone not pine cones but like the what are they called the stems or the pine needles there we go and you've got like the stickiness the residue from your hand you get that sort of like sensation from this beer 
but it's not overly. Um, See, so yeah, I'm just enjoying this beer so much that it's hard to talk about it. I mean, in the climate that we're in now, I mean, everyone is going batshit crazy still over these like Vermont style pale ales, and even Beaver Town have done it themselves with the the Tropigamma, which is just phenomenal. It takes this beer and just does something completely different, and just takes it to another level. That was kind of said to me by Craig, and that was one of the the best beers that I've had in quite a long time. But this, you definitely see the roots of that beer in this one. You get those flavours in there. It's not as, like, a f as much of a fruit bowl as some pale ales are right now, where it's like almost getting to the point where it's like literally like a, a fruit beer smoothie. It's still a little bit dry, still a little bit thinner than that. But it's just a lovely drinkable beer and at 5.6% or 5.4% you could just sink like a four pack of this down just have a great time chill it down a little bit sit outside in the sun fantastic stuff you know I'm getting like that mango juice orange juice blood oranges grapefruit bit of lychee and then you get those piney tones the dank resiny tones as well it's got lovely crispness to it the mouth feels not too light not too heavy it's just a very satisfying drink. And I think the beauty of something like Gamma Ray is, even though it's been an established beer for quite some time now, and things have evolved a hell of a lot back in the UK with the craft brewing scene, it still stands up and demands you you know, pay it respect. Yeah, you know, It doesn't fade into the background with some other American style pale ales that are brewed back in the UK. It's still one of those beers where when you you see it, you want to pick up a couple of cans of it, just have a good time with it. And uh, yeah, it's it's a very tasty beer indeed. So in terms of a rating on this one, and I made this point when I was, um, what was it, when I was talking about the Dirty Bastard from Founders. Because I've had a like a, an amped up version of that with the backwards bastard and since i've had the amped up version of this with tropi gamma which i gave a 10 out of 10 i'm going to give this a 9 out of 10 because it doesn't reach those heights there as it as that beer did but it's still beer that i'll continue to drink for a hell of a long time and it's one that it has the reputation because it's such a damn good beer so it's a 9 out of 10 from me on the Beaver Town Gamma Ray. Um, I'm sure you've already had this one already, but if you haven't done so already, give it a go. Give it a try. Check out Beaver Town. They do a great job. I love their whole brand. I love some of the exciting stuff they've been doing. And uh, when I'm back in the UK, I'm always like, I need to get more beers from these guys. And they're a brewery that I'll continue to go back because they just are so consistent. And they put out some fantastic beers. And they've got one of the best core ranges I feel around in the UK so I'm sure pretty much everyone who I watch from the UK has reviewed this my friends of mine so I'm going to put their reviews down below check out my Beaver Town playlist as well check out Beaver Town uh, check out my Pale Ale playlist for more go on over and check out Beretta fantastic bottle shop and uh, yeah give me your thoughts opinions on this beer so thank you guys for watching and I shall hopefully see you later don't know why I put the glass back down.